Hey you guys, so I have kind of a fun slash maybe not fun video topic for you guys today. Whoopsie, I will just fix this. Um, so I saw this on another competitor's channel and it really, really intrigued me. And I thought if it intrigued me, that maybe it would intrigue you, maybe. So what I wanna do today, you guys, is go through on my spreadsheet the numbers of my prep week by week, what my macros were, what my cardio was, and what my results were that week, and then what changes we made to the plan. So basically, my prep recap in numbers. Coming right at ya. All right, so let me show you kind of what my spreadsheet looks like. Let's go ahead and cut over to that. Okay, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Um, okay, I'm also gonna tell you, give you guys the recap of uh, don't mind me. I got my Diet Coke right here. Mm. Give you guys the recap of what happened at my last show. Okay. I'll do that when I get to it. Sorry. I'm going to make you wait the whole time. All right. First up, as you guys saw, um, I'm starting this on December 28th. So right after Christmas, um, my weight was 142. Body fat was 17.8. Again, if you're not a numbers person, this is probably gonna bore you. So you don't have to watch this video if you don't like numbers. Um, so I'm literally just gonna be going through week by week, okay? 17.8%. Um, this was the highest I have been in quite a while. I was very uncomfortable in my skin here. Um, we started my prep at 40 minutes of cardio, six days a week, 1800 calories, 40 grams of fat, 180 carb, 180 protein, okay? Uh, one week in from that. So this was eight weeks out from my trainer Lindsay cruise last year. That's kind of what I was counting down to here. One week in, weight dropped just a half a pound, okay? Uh, actually, it wasn't even one week. It, well, no, it was one week. 140.4, 17.4% body fat, okay? Uh, we did body fat tracking using um, skinfold calipers just because it's easy and I was consistent having my coach, Christy Tauti, uh, pinch me every single week and she's the one that was the mastermind behind all this programming um, So I did not do it myself. No, I don't coach myself. Yes I do coach many other people, but I'm not objective when it comes to um, coaching myself. I get too emotional not cryy, but like too in my head about it. So um, We did not change uh, Let's see. Oh, no, we did we increased um, my cardio by a few minutes each time so, and I added in a thermogenic, the ideal, the ideal fit burner, okay? That's the change we made that week. Next week, two weeks in, six weeks out from my cruise, 21 weeks out from my first show. Weight was 138.8, so there we have that big drop, okay? I didn't see a huge drop the first week, did the second week, okay? You just never know when it's gonna come. 16.8% uh, body fat, so down one full percent from the start. Uh, we did not make any changes to the plan because the results were perfect, right? Next week, January 18th, five weeks out from my cruise, had almost a pound drop, 137.6, 16.2% uh, body fat. That's a great drop in just one week. So again, no changes to the plan. You'll notice when things go well, we don't change it. Uh, next up, January 26th. So here we are at one month in. And 19 weeks out from my first show, I was 139.2. Oh, that, so that's a huge increase. That's weird. Um, I wonder if I was on my period or something. I didn't write that down. But that's up two pounds. Up two pounds, but my body fat dropped to 16.1. So my body fat stayed about the same, up two pounds. So that just shows you're hold, I was holding water, not fat. Okay? Um, we did, just to stay on top of things, oh, I have a note here saying that I was in Atlanta for my Fit Body Tour. And I had a lot of BLTs for a few days after. So I had a hard time coming back in town and getting right back on track. Struggle, right? All right. So we increased cardio by five minutes, six days a week. So I'm at 45 minutes, six days a week. And we dropped my carbs by 15 grams-ish. So we dropped them to um, my macros to 1750 calories, bumped up to 45 grams of fat, and dropped down to 167 carbs, still at 180 protein, okay? Next week, we are now three weeks out from the cruise, 18 weeks out from my first show, 139. So maybe still holding some water, still same weight, but body fat was down almost a whole percent. This just shows you guys that you can't just go by the scale. 
I was 15.2% body fat at this point, okay? Um, we did not make any changes to the plan. The only thing we did was we took out the dairy out of my meal plan. So we took out the Greek yogurt. I had been having, um, I've been having some like overnight oats. So we took that Greek yogurt out and we added an afternoon dose of my thermogenic. So now I'm taking Ideal Fit Burner morning and lunchtime, okay? Um, now we are at February 9th, two weeks out from the cruise. Um, 137.6, so dropped a pound and a half. So this is actually the same as it was one, two, three, three weeks before, okay? But body fat now is 14.9, whereas last time I was at 139, it was 16.1, okay? Can't go just by the scale, right? 14.9. Um, changes, we added 10 minutes of cardio every single day. So now I'm at 55 minutes cardio, six days a week. And uh, we dropped carbs by 10, and I had, I've been seeing such great results that I was, I had a 500 calorie treat meal. I don't remember what, no, I do remember what I had. I had a sandwich and a dessert. I think I did froyo in a sandwich. One of my favorites. Okay. Um, let's see. Now we are one week out from the cruise. Weight was the same, but body fat was 14.5. So holy cow, you guys. So if you compare it to the beginning of the year, six weeks in, I am down four and a half pounds and three and a half percent body fat. So crazy, right? Uh, let's see, plan was the cha was the same, no changes there. Uh, last check-in before the cruise, so now we're at 15 weeks out from my first show. Um, my goal body fat percentage for the cruise was 13 and a half. I didn't quite make it, I was at 14.1, okay? Um, my weight was 136.6 when I left on the cruise. My goal here was to be intuitive. Um, I used a, a heart rate monitor to ensure that I was burning good calories. I worked out a ton on the cruise ship, lots of stairs, lots of workouts. And I made very good eating choices, um, but I did include some bites of desserts here and there. I have a whole video on what I did to drop body fat on the cruise. It's another video on my YouTube channel, so go search that. It is in my um, bikini prep series, okay? So, what were the results after the cruise? Dum -da -da -dum. I get back and I am now two and a half weeks out from going to Costa Rica and 13 weeks out from my first show. And my body fat was at 14.1% before the cruise and it was 13% even after the cruise. Who does that? I have no idea. My weight before the cruise was 136.6 and afterwards it was 135.6, okay? Um, plan changes. Looks like I, um, I dropped my macros. Dropped macros um, in preparation for going on another all-inclusive vacation. So cardio was the same, 55 minutes, six days a week, but we dropped calories to 1,500, so that was a pretty aggressive drop. Um, fats down to 35. Carbs are at 135 and protein was at 150. So that was a huge, huge adjustment. And guess what happened, you guys? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Not kidding. So for the next two weeks, until Costa Rica, I maintained. I actually dropped, I went from 135.6 to 134.8 and the next week 135.2. So I really like maintained that 135-ish. Um, and my body fat maintained the 13%. So you could say either that my body did not like that aggressive drop, or you might just think, okay, I've been dieting for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 weeks, and that was my first little plateau that I had to push through. So either one of those, I don't know what was the reason. Hold on. Mm. I don't drink Diet Coke often, but when I do, I love it. Okay, Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Did the same kind of thing I did on the cruise. I was intuitive with my food. I worked out a ton and I just enjoyed the food. I did my four bite rule or two or three. Have a couple bites. If it's worth it, eat more guilt free. If it's not, you stop right there, okay? When I got back, from Costa Rica, I was seven weeks out from my first show. My weight before Costa Rica, you guys are gonna die. 135.2, <clears throat> after Costa Rica, 
131.6. Four pounds? That's crazy, right? Uh, it kind of is crazy. It's kind of a uh, deflated weight because my body fat didn't drop that much, okay? Uh, was 13.1 for like the three weeks before and it was 12.7 when I got back. So not a huge drop, but it was a drop over vacation, which is super cool. Um, going forward, we added, oh, oh, <laughs> I have a note here that says, had diarrhea all week, possible parasite from Costa Rica. That's probably why my weight was so low. <laughs> Funny. Okay, so uh, macros stayed the same. We kept them at that 1,500 calories, 35 fat, 135 carb, 150 protein. Um, but we added five minutes to cardio, so 60 minutes cardio, six days a week. Okay, uh, six weeks out from my show, we're at April 20th now. Weight went up to 132.4, probably balancing out from that little diarrhea thing. Uh, body fat dropped 12.3. Um, we added a 30 minute cardio session on Sunday. So now here I am seven, six weeks out from my show doing cardio seven days a week, 60 minutes, uh, every day except Sunday. Sunday was a 30 minute cardio. Okay. And we dropped 10 grams of carbs. All right. Five weeks out, April 27th, weight was 130.8. So it dropped about a pound and a half, uh, 11.9% body fat. We're getting into the lean leans here, guys. Um, 60 minutes cardio. Let's see. We did not change anything this week. Uh, macros are at 35 fat, 125 carb, 165 protein. We did it. We increased the protein somewhere along the way. Uh, we changed it out so I was not having any carbs in my dinner was the change this week, okay? Four weeks out, 131.6, so I'm up about a pound. And body fat is up, or about stayed the same, went from 11.9 to 12. Um, so we did kind of, a, we did a big change, not a big change, but we, um, Added, let's see, I wrote added an hour and a half of cardio. Oh, it's because we added, we increased to 65 minutes cardio four days a week, 75 minutes cardio three days a week. So seven days of cardio all over an hour is what we're looking at now. And we dropped 10 grams of carbs. So now we're at 115 grams of carbs. And she gave me a um, controlled cheat meal of a burger and half order of fries, okay? So I went to In-N-Out and I had that. The next day, I was at 130.4, I dropped that pound. So that's pretty cool. Three weeks out, um, my weight was, it went back up, it was 132.2. That was super annoying, right? But body fat dropped 11.5%. Um, we kept the same cardio and we started a carb cycle. So a two to one, two low days to one high day. Low day was um, 80 grams of carbs from veggies only, 46 fat, 165 protein. High day was 160 carbs from starches and veggies, 33 fat, 165 protein. Okay, that was very effective. And my weight actually didn't change, but I dropped to 11% body fat. Um, that week, we did not make any changes. Okay, things were going great. May 25th, eight days out from my first show, uh, I was 128. So that's where we saw that big drop. Okay, it's kind of like, oh my gosh, I just burped. <laughs> I'm not editing this. Sorry, guys. That's my Diet Coke speaking. Um, all the changes from the last like four or five weeks when I wasn't seeing any weight change, but was seeing body fat change, it kind of all accumulated right here. Uh, 128, 10.4% body fat. Um, we did not make any changes. That's eight days out. For this first show, we were trying to just walk right in and not really make any changes and just see how it went. So that's what we did. We didn't change anything. My lowest body fat uh, was 10.2. Was um, three days out, I was 126.2. Two days out, I was 124. One day out, I was 123.8. And then on show day, I was 123.6. Okay, so that that is that. First show was 123.6. Um, the next weekend I had another show. So I had a cheat meal and then got right back on track the next day with the same plan. Um, my weight actually kept dropping that week. I was hitting, I hit 122 a couple days, which is below my stage weight. And so, uh, Christy, my coach just kept giving me high days instead of dropping back to that low day. And so, um, on show day I was 122 and she measured me at 9.8 percent body fat, which was the lowest she'd measured me so far. That was June 9th. Okay. 
I don't have daily stuff in, or no, then we go back to weekly. So June 14th was 15 days out from Team Universe, my first national show. And I was, it was six days post show and I was 129, okay? So you guys, when you compete, whenever you dry out and manipulate water, your body gets dehydrated and your body's gonna compensate by retaining water. It's like a pendulum, the drier you get, the more you retain water on the other side before your body comes back and hangs out back here in this middle area, okay? Um, so I was 129, so 122 I was dehydrated, 129 I was holding water. By the next week, I was 125, right there in the middle, okay? Um, and that was eight days out from Team Universe. I was 125 again, three days out, and I was kind of stressing, but everything worked out well, and I was 122 again on show day. Okay, um, then we had, how many weeks is that? Two and a half weeks until Masters National. So um, if you'll remember, hmm, at Team Universe, I placed 11th in my age group. Um, okay, so 14 days post-show, I was 125, which is awesome. 14 days post my last show, I was 129. So I did still retain water. My highest I got was 128.6, then came back down to 125, holding strong around 125. Two, three days out, I was 124. And again, miraculously, 122 on show day. Funny how that happens, right? So show day, two days post show was 126 because you always hold some water after that big cheat meal after the show. Um, I placed second in my age group and that was amazing. I got some great feedback from the head judge to round out my glutes. Um, my coach, Christy and I came to the conclusion together that it'd be in my best interest if I worked with a coach I had worked with in the past that was just a little more dialed into the national level bikini scene and pro bikini scene and what they're looking for um, in their top level athletes and how to get me there. And so I made the switch over to Whitney Jones who took over my coaching from here on out. Um, Christy did an amazing job getting me to where I was, but uh, we felt like it was in my best interest to make that switch to take me to the next level. So um, switching over, we made some kind of big changes right off. Um, let's see, I'm switching spreadsheets now. I was 127 when I started with Whitney. And that was about a week after the show. So again, that was my water retention time, okay? Body fat percentage, we're switching over to my husband taking my pinches, so it may not be exactly in line with what Christy was doing, but it's gonna be our new standard, okay? Um, same calipers, just different person. He measured me at 11.6. And let's see, macros were 40 fat, so we up my fat a little bit, 120 carbs, up my carbs a little bit, and 150 protein, drop my protein a little bit. So calories stayed the same, increased fat and carbs, drop protein was the first change they made. And then my cardio was dropped down to, let's see, 55 minutes, six days a week, okay? Uh, one week in from there, I had six weeks between shows, okay? We're almost finished if you're bored. Um, stay with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one week in, uh, I was 126.1, so down one pound, 10.9% body fat. Uh, we moved to a carb cycle here. No, no, carb cycle was in the next week. Here what we did was, I don't think we made any changes, actually. Oh, no, we did. Hold on, I can't even read my own spreadsheet. No, we didn't. The next week, dropped a half a pound, 125.5. Body fat was 10.7, so dropped a little bit. We changed to a carb cycle, 35 fat on both days, 200 grams of carbs on a high day, 140 protein, 130 carbs on a high day, 140 protein. So just kind of reverse dieting me into the next show, increasing my food, decreasing cardio slowly, okay? Um, let's see. One week in from there, my weight was actually up, I think I was like being a little bit hormonal because actually I know I was because I'm feeling that way right now and that was, this was a month ago. <laughs> That's funny. I'm just realizing that right this very second. Okay, so uh, body fat was 10.65, so about a maintenance kind of thing. My weight was up a pound. Uh, the changes she made was we did four low days to one high day instead of three 
and she actually increased my carbs on my high day and decreased my fat. So we're at 30 fat, 220 carb on high day, 130 carb on low day, 140 carb or 140 protein. Um, cardio is staying the same. Okay, next week after the carb cycle, 125.2, so I'm down a full pound, 10.3% body fat, okay? Uh, she made no changes to macros or cardio. We're about two weeks out from show now, okay guys? Uh, 123.3, dropped two pounds that week, 9.9% .9 body fat. Um, oh no, we're not two weeks out from show. We are like eight days out from show here. So 123.3, this is actually going right into peak week, 9.9%, .9%, which was very low, matched my lowest from before. Um, now going into peak week, we are looking at, I was, before I left for Pittsburgh, I was 122. I hit 122 like five times during that week before peak week. Um, so 122 is the weight I'm going off of for the start of my reverse. Uh, not the weight I'm trying to stick to by any means, but it's the way I'm going to gain probably 10 pounds or so more than. Um, I was 122 when I landed in Pittsburgh. Uh, I bring my scale with me. That's why I know these things. Uh, 120, one day out, 118.8 on show day. Uh, 122 the day after, after my big cheat meal. 125 when I got home after another untracked day and flying. Then 125, 124, 123 is kind of where the rest of that week went. And from there, you guys, I'm gonna turn it over to my reverse dieting series for more numbers, okay? Which I filmed that same, that first video today. But um, North Americans, I ended up placing eighth in my age group, which I was not disappointed, you guys. Of course I wanted to win, but we're gonna save the winning for next year, hopefully. Cross all my fingers and toes. Um, I was so happy with how this season went. I came into bikini just trying to see what I thought of it. I ended up loving it won my local shows and placed 11th, 8th, and 2nd at my national level competition. So I think it was an amazing comeback into the competition scene for me. And I am so excited about next year. Um, watch my reverse dieting series to see what I do to prepare my body to perform at its best next year. Okay, you guys, subscribe to my channel, press the little bell so you don't ever miss my notifications. And I will see you guys on the reverse dieting series. Bye, guys.